What's up, guys, and welcome back to another round of the Timothy Tabs Fentanyl Eyeball Round Robin. And today it's round 12. Now, most of this is probably going to be the same, but we do have one very important fight that we have to get through. Pretty much the one of the. So, last time we eliminated Canal and Inosuke from the bracket, because they both hadn't won a fight. Also, Kanae takes it over Genya, but just barely. But now, we finally actually get to see who gets last place right now. And then, you know, I'll save some of the matches where it might actually go both ways, essentially against the other people who haven't won really at all and we'll, we'll just see how it goes it looks like the kick is really what's doing Inosuke in right now he doesn't have the damage output to deal with it. Or the health. Oh, wait, let me get the music back on. Nezuko versus Gyujiro. Begin. He does have a couple things on the So he might be able to do really well in this. Then again, he does have to get up close. Because he goes a master at dealing damage up close. Just barely gonna lose. Last one's over here. Go well. Look at that health bar. Look at it. This this goes either way for them. No fall damage. Nice. Excellent. Great. You'll love to see it. Barely. Is he gonna, is Nezuko gonna live long enough? She is. She will live just barely long enough. It's one to one. Oh, he needs not. He hasn't focused too down quickly like last time not going his way. No. Andro versus Taki. Any of them going to fall in the pond? Nope. None of them are going to fall into the pond. Very lucky that none of them did. Dude, there's so many times. And this is so old. It's Jover, dude. Hondro does not have the HP for this. Well, no, not even. He doesn't have the damage output for this. HP doesn't ma really matter, he doesn't get one shot, but he can't really hurt Docky. Andro does need a clothing update. Yeah, I should get that done. It's, it's over, it's 5v1. It was 17 versus 5, and it ended up being 5v1. Like, 
I want to stop stuff like this from happening. Oh, Gyoko, they didn't quite dodge the lightning. Took massive damage from it. All of them about halfway dead, but the Zenitsu's, they're dying. They're dying fast. Close. Like, I kind of want everything above, like, Or above like and eh, maybe 5k to be rounded to the nearest thousand do we still have all three nope one of the shows got deleted got just yeeted off Sorry about that. Um, internet uh, died. Is there only one? No, the only one's over there. Oh, she's gonna back herself out of the world. Can go that goes straight through the wall. Two of them are in concussions, and that's somehow gonna win them the match. They're behind the wall that's not going to let Madame Fate actually attack through it. And then they, they aren't going to get up and be affected by Madame Fate's attacks. It looks like we've kind of peered off into a 1v1 and a 2v1 here. Dumb Fate is trapped in the corner.
if they kill that one, the one over there, then it, then it, I, I guess that was a win for Huntengu. Doesn't seem right, though. There goes one. Dude, I can't comfortably fall this for either of them. This sucks. <laughs> Ushi versus Akaza, that's that's a one-sided fight. Akaza definitely takes it. What a what a what a spike, dude. Like, dude, if only I can make like a normal punch have the properties of the Super Boxer Glove instead of giving them this st stupid clunky glove. Like, that's that's one of the things we need. More customizable options here. Like, I love to give someone, like, a katana that's on fire. I don't want to have to be used... have to be forced to use the flaming sword. Seeing Obanai versus Muzan, Muzan absolutely takes that. Because he's done it before. So he'll do it again. Looks like Tengen's gonna take this one. This one's definitely gonna be one for the books. Kokushibo versus Mitsuri. They both dodged Dragon Punch and Dragon Kick or Hurricane Slash. I mean, they don't have the same HP, so it doesn't matter, really, in that, in that regard. One Misery down, I think two about to be down. One Kogushibo almost down. Mitsuri's are m losing health way faster than the Kogushibo's are. But it only takes a few good hits to kill one of them. Oh, they can't just jump in like that. Holy crap. Oh, poor Mitsuri there. He went out swinging, though. As Hashira's do. This is, uh, this is, this is, uh, not fair. Yome versus Michiro. So, I'm fairly certain, um, currently, now, I can confidently crown Muzan as the, um, first person to make it through. He gets a champion rank. No. No. Rengoku versus Giyu, 1v1.
Oh my god, he can fight flame wave through the wall. The tornado goes through the wall too. That's just great. Goku using his own Hurricane Slash to deny Gyu's. I'm, I'm just gonna call it in Goku's favor. Last match in the round, Sanami versus Shinobu. She's in. This isn't gonna go well for him. Shinobu really gets to take um take make use of her advantages. And there he goes. That is round 12 should be done. Let's get to round 13. <coughs> Yu versus Sonic. Begin. I cannot see this going well for Sonic unless the Gyu's, like, all collectively dive out of the world. Because there's so many of them. I could have done, like, a 1v1 or something, 2v3 maybe, but... I think technically would have been decently fair. Yeah, this is uh, not going Sonami's way. We know how some of these Gyu's took so much damage. Just wasn't gonna go well. This one should be fairly interesting. 2v1 Michiro versus Rengoku. That's quite in well that it was interesting. That was a fun interaction. Yikes. That didn't look very nice. Gyome and Muzan. Um... Yeah, no. It's, uh, it, it's, uh, not gonna work. I got like bees of popcorn stuck in my teeth. It's really annoying. Right now. Like right between where my wrist and teeth and molars are. I mean, can always keeping it interesting for a 1v1. Maybe moves on to just, you know, making it a fair fight by um, doing a lot of damage himself. Either way, 
it just wasn't going to work. How do I make this fair? I, there's no easy way to make Omenai versus Kokushibo a fair fight in the money department. So this is the best I've got. Omenai, if they sink it right, can definitely take this. That one ain't doing too well. But the other one's doing great. Cookie Shibo is taking a lot of damage. God, he's actually gonna lose this. Oh, well, it's gonna be close. God, I literally have to call that a tie. This map is so broken. Okay, Kokushibo wins. I'm... I'm not doing another one like that. No, sir. No, sir, there's no way I'm dealing with all the problems that come with this map for too many times in a row. Doma versus Mitsuri. If you can get in on Silma, she wins. Again, protected by the wall that doesn't let Protect go through, but does let, you know, literally everything else through. She's on top of him again. There's probably a lot of people who wouldn't like to be Doma in that type of situation. I'm not one of them. Mitsuri is not my Slayer waifu. Got more arrows ringing down. Ultimately, you know, fire beats ice. Fire beats ice, guys. It's, it's, there's just no two ways about it in this game. Akaza and Tengen. Should be interesting, 5v8, but let's be real, it's not fair in the slightest. Yeah, it's uh it's not very fair. On Tengu versus Bushi. No, he really would need something like, you know, Hurricane Slash to be viable here. He just doesn't have it. 
Hantengu. Hantengu might actually die to him because Hantengu HP. Not the greatest. Not very high at all. But. You know? See, one of them is almost down, but it's so is he. Good hammer. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my god, he won? What a finish. Well, anyway, what do you got? He's about half dead, and so are they. Oh god, not the clones. Hantengu takes game two. No, this would probably be accurate. He's, um... Ushi is the human version of Cho. Now, while Cho in the, the in real is supposed to be able to confidently be able to one v one Muzani Rigi in a fight that goes either way, Ushi uh, does not do that. I do indeed say that he probably stops at Oxa. Being like confidence. I get you in Medam Fate for a 1v1. She's gonna back herself off the world. Dude, it's like hard and stuck in there. It's really annoying, but Dom Fade is absolutely gonna back herself off the world. And there she goes. Yoko vs. Cho. Yeah, he landed a solid hit on one of them. Dude, oh my god, those blow darts do so much damage. Crap, dude. I give them nin. I think I give them shuriken throw. So yeah, it makes sense. They have a really fast attack rate for shuriken throw. was able to keep it close, but, you know, it's, it's just not gonna be enough. 
man, at the end of the day, just not enough. Daki Zenitsu, begin. Oh, jeez, that does like half their health. Oh, that probably does a whole lot of damage as well. Oh, none of those got synced up right. But like, maybe even just one more of those and Daki's done. Oh my god, they, that Zenitsu died doing the attack. And the other one died to the impale. Gonna be real close now. Just barely. Which does mean we need to do game two to see if she can take it again, or if, if or I mean, to see if she can take it, or Zenitsu will take it again. Oh, they actually got two synced onto her. Such a long spear. What a finish! He died as he finished it. Except Condro. Um, I don't even know why I'm doing this. This is very much so over. Ichiro wins. Like, Ichiro has a really solid damage. Has a very consistent damage output. With all of his abilities. It's not a good HP pool. I'm a little excited to see how well Gyutaro does compared to everything else that I've got. Not like in the Kimetsu no Yai buff action, but like just overall. Next round was Nezuko versus now, but you know we don't we don't do stuff like that. Genya Inosuke, maybe. Maybe Gen, maybe Inosuke has a chance of doing something, especially if it's a 3v1. It was close, but not definitely not close enough. Genya takes it. Yurichi and Kane. Flame, flaming Sword or Flowers, which one do you think is stronger? Because, I mean, the answer in tabs might surprise you. Close. Like, really close. Oh, is that gonna be it? That might be it. That is. Game 1 goes to Kanye. And she is the cheaper one. Find their way around the corner. Very close to him. Oh, that's not good. Oh, but it is. She dodged it. What a dodge. Is 
Is that it? That one's it. It's one one. They're dude. This is actually real. This is weirdly too close of a match. Dude, Yurichi gets some solid hits in at the start. What are they doing? Oh my god, dude. His health. But Nirichi does prevail. And that is the end of the round. So it looks like we're going to be able to get two done today. So let's go for it. It's round 14. Let's get it. Nezuko and Genka. Well, the first one was actually you no know, escape versus Yurichi, but there's uh, there's no way that one goes any way other than Yurichi. And in Orin tabs, there's no way three you no know, escapes take it. Let's go take this one easy. Now the next one I do have to run this because I don't actually know who wins. Between Tondro and Canal. My guess would be Tornado. Not Tondro, but the Tornado that he summons. I could. Definitely in Tondro. Some new abilities or something. He does definitely need them. They are definitely sending a lot of these canals out of the map. I'm not seeing any of them actually dead, but I don't think we still have 15 on the board. In fact, I know we don't have 15 still left because one of them fell through the map there. It does look like it can go either way, especially because Tondro can also just, you know, bring himself out of the map. Let's know only two dead in the late ponds. There are so many canals left alive against this one Tondro. I mean, he's probably in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's being sent to heaven in more ways than one. Uh, let's move on. Three versus eleven is maybe the most fair we can get to. Okay, listen, it's, you need to get the Hurricane Slash off, like, ASAP. Dude, that's so cool when they, like, actually just perish as they hit the ground. What shelter are we looking at? Yeah, quite a bit. There, no. No, they win. You throw a win. is pretty dang fair. This uh, should not go Daki's way. Those tankier than her, they have the same ability in Gladdenvale. Having three Dockies doesn't really do that much to help with Vlad and Pale. And Sho has some ways of dealing damage on top of Vlad and Pale. Like, if they catch them... Yeah, if they catch a Docky with one of the punches, Docky, like, just kinda drops. Like that. See? Oh. 
Oh, whoa. <laughs> that's that's not that that might be where you want the giant wooden rod being shoved. I'm I I don't know I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a girl. I'm a guy. And I'll tell you, I definitely wouldn't want a giant spiky wooden rod being shoved right there. Zom Fate versus Kyoko, and I need to find a way to make this as fair as I can. Six versus five? is going to be able to, you know, get in real close, be able to do that damage, but if they're grouped up like this, I'm not going to have a good time against put on fates different. You know, crowd control abilities. One Madame Fate I see is almost dead, but like, oh, two, two fates are dead. None of the Gyokos have died, but they're all so low. One down, two down. Three down. Four down. One Yoko stands. Remaining strong in the face of an actual goddess. There's just no shot. Ushi versus Kaikun. Oh my god, he went so high. No, that doesn't do nearly enough damage to help them win. Kaiku gets that dumb. I am so tired right now. Uh, T -T Tengen versus Hunting. That, that might be closer. I'm a bit scared for Tengen. He might just go flying off. Okay, he didn't, he didn't go flying off too badly. They shouted him into the river, into the lake, pond, whatever it is. Acid. It's it's just acid. No way. They've just been keeping, they've been able to keep Tengen back the whole time. That's really surprising, actually. It's too, oh my god, really? Uh, anyway, Mitsuri versus Akasa. This could go either way. They both have like the same abilities. 
Mitsuri, you know, has less health, but also costs less. Was that a two for one there? Oh, it, there's only one Akaza left. He has to take down at least three of them. One down. Mitsuri, that's that's not the view you want to be giving everyone. Um. <laughs> oh, what a surprise attack! didn't work in the slightest. Okay, just a bit of divine intervention. To help them get back on their feet. Yeah, oh, oops, I almost caused Mitsuri to win. Um, I might have caused Misery to win, so we'll call that for Misery and move on. Uh, I, I saw one of them get knocked underneath the world. Uh, apparently, uh, half of them did, in actuality. Oh lord, oh, every single Misery got knocked underneath the world. One Misery versus five Akaza. down one. Game three. Everyone's alive still. One Ock is already down. I think that two of them fell out of the world. So this is a great situ- Oh my god, dude. Didn't even let me finish. This didn't even let me get the words out. Obanai and Doma. One of them jump in the the pond. <laughs> I don't think it's enough. No, they're just gonna keep using open eye. This one is unfortunately stuck behind a wall. Oh, go open eye. He hit all three of them with the slash. How'd you phase through the wall? Even know what's making Omanai take damage here. Another one down. There's only one Doma left. And this one Omanai is actually really blue. Oh, that's it. That's game. I'm just I'm just gonna give it to Omanai. Honestly. Kiyome versus Kokushibo. And this is why eventually I'm gonna do like a revamp of units like this, where I just change their health around to make them cost better. Because I would have much rather do a 4v3 than have to do like 31 versus 41, but. Gilmay. Gilmay doesn't take the chance though. It's, it's 3v1. I don't even think Gyome wouldn't even stand a chance at a 1v1, much less a 3v1. Kokushibo actually 
absolutely gets the job. This this is a big one here. Muzan versus Rengoku. Rengoku has so many things at his disposal, but Muzan has him beat in just pure stats. Muzan can out can output like the same damage Rengoku can, but Rengoku has like a fifth of the HP. Very fast and. Well, it did not go his way. Very sad. That's like another one of the only chances we really had at dealing with of dealing with Muzan. Six versus eleven. Um, this should be actually really easy for me. Even if some of them dive out of the world while attacking, there's so many Nitros. There's like two. Two of them need to dive out of the world for every single hurricane slash given. At one Nitro might be able. Do a number on taxonomies. He is getting ganged here. Last match. Fun one. Giyu Shinobu. Well, that was a rough landing. What a hurricane slash. Oh my god. And what a hurricane slash. Ah, oh, screw that 6v1. I'm way more interested in this 6v1. One Gi is down, but that Shinobu is down as well. But my lord, she did a number on poor Gi's. On all the poor Gi's there. I see another shinobi down there. Will this one do a number? Oh, before them, they're so nice and lined up. They synced wrong. That's that sucks. Oh, those are both dead. Sword is stuck in the wall, dude. What is this? Why? They're literally way too close to the wall for this. Ah, oh, these walls are so much pain. Well, we saw one Shinobu do a number on like five of them at once. That's not very good. I 
Shinsuke said, wasn't very good. That's round 14 in the books.